How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7 inch tablet I've got right here. This is the tablet that you can root with my super tool along with doing lots of other things like installing Flash Fire app and Super Sue and all that good stuff, Google Play Store. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is how to install a AOSP ROM or a Nexus ROM. And it's really cool and we're going to use Flash Fire to do it. Now just so you guys can see this right now currently I am on device options uh, well it's not going to show you is it because I think it's going to block out yeah it's not but I'm on fire OS 5.1.1 okay so that's what I'm working with and if you don't have the prerequisites met of doing this make sure you have flash fire and super sue working along with that you're going to need to download the file to your device either through the web browser or Put it on your SD card. I have mine on my SD card, and that's going to be the ROM we're going to flash. The ROM does include the Google applications and root access, so you'll just flash one file, and we'll be installing this AOSP ROM. So it's going to be very simple. So we're going to go into Flash Fire application, and the first thing I do is grant root access to it. It does not work with King Root. You can only use Flash Fire with Super Sue. It needs that specific binary for it to function. Agree to the disclaimer here say no thanks and we should be ready to go so the first step um, well one thing I want to note make sure you're on the latest and if you've installed the uh, 0.24 version of flash fire um, if you update the super tool on my Windows version anyway it'll download the new version and you can then install it so or you can update through the app store whichever alright so we're gonna hit the plus button right here and the first thing we're gonna click on is to Go ahead and go into the wipes and make sure that all of these are checked. System data, third party, Delta cache. So you want to make sure that's all there. Should be good, pre-checked. And we can go, we can hit OK. And then we're going to go hit it again. And we're going to go in here and click a file. And this is where you're going to need to find your um, file you want to flash. So I'm actually going to go up here and go to SD card instead of internal and the file we're looking for is LP Fire Nexus ROM and I downloaded the latest and I'll give you a link to it in the video description so no worries about that you also want to make sure that neither of these are checked see so there's boxes don't check them just leave them like they are leave them unchecked we'll go ahead and uh, continue on alright so you can see how this is working right here you also want to make sure that um, the wipe right here is at the uh, top of the order there you go so it does all the wipes then it does the flash that's basically how we want it to look so when we're good right here should be good to go go ahead and hit the flash button and you can go ahead and ignore any of the errors and warnings so we'll hit ignore and hit OK now this is gonna go ahead and flash this we can go on in full screen we can say OK and if there is an issue, there could be, it's kind of hard to say. Hopefully this goes smooth. But if there's an issue, we should be able to go into recovery and do a firmware restore. So worst case scenario, we boot stock recovery, we do a firmware restore. You can check out that video. I'll link it up in the video description. But hopefully everything goes smoothly and it won't be an issue. But you never know. Sometimes you can get stuck in a boot loop doing this. And you'll have to get into stock recovery do a firmware restore to get the device functioning once again. But I have videos on all that stuff, so really you're covered if you check out my playlist on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen. 7 inch, I should say, specifically. Um, this stuff mainly works in 7 inch. The 8 inch and 10 inch I don't think are rooted. Maybe they are with King Root, but I'm not sure any other way. So, all right, so here you go. I love it. This is the stock Nexus boot animation, which you've seen on things for quite a while now so that's really awesome to see we're gonna let this thing boot up I'm gonna go through setup and then I'm just gonna show you this AOSP Nexus ROM here on the Amazon Fire 5th gen alright there we go so that initial boot animation ran for approximately three to five minutes before we finally got greeted with the welcome screen so let me set this up alrighty guys here we go we are booted up so it's very <laughs> minimal uh, on the device. Um, I have not logged into the Google Play Store. You can see that it's very stripped down. 
Um, and the reason they're doing that is because the system partition is so small on this device, you can only put just the exact amount in there. But you can see we have root access right here with SuperSU. And it wants to update the binaries. And we'll just say normal way and see if it'll do that for us really quickly. Um, it should, but depending on um, if you need to be logged into the Google Play Store, which you might, because I'm not right currently. Um, Very good it did it successfully. It's recommended to reboot. I'm not going to do that right now because I just want to show you guys. We have root access. So there you go. Um, so now we should be able to see this looks uh, app drawer. Very plain and simple. Pull downs, obviously, stock, Android. Um, go ahead and get in here to settings. Basically, you've turned this thing into quasi-Nexus tablet, I guess is the way you could put it. Android 5.1. There's your ROM. You can tap on that. It looks like we should have the lollipop Easter egg and the game. Yeah, check that out. Wow, that's pretty fun for uh, being on here on the Amazon Fire. Oh, wow. Man, I've never gotten this far in this game. Wow, something's messed up on this. For some reason, somebody messed this game up, and I'm actually able to play it. That's crazy. Anyway, so that's there. You can see that You know, the rest of this is the standard kind of stuff. I don't know about system bugs really yet. Um, I know you can, I haven't logged in, like I said, to the Play Store, but I know you can and uh, should be functional. Just add your account. Um, let's also see, we'll hold down. So you have widgets. Put a widget on here just to add some spice. Always allow. There we go. So, you know, you can mess with your widgets. We should be able to change screens and go to another one. There we go. Also, wallpapers. Looks like there's only one unless you have an image or something downloaded. Um, is there a camera app in here? That's a good question. So currently, there's no camera app in it. Let me actually log into my Play Store and just see if I can download a camera app and see how we're functioning. Let's try one more. I'm hoping that it does. It, we can work, but I'm just I just don't know. Ice cream sandwich camera. Nexus camera. Oh, that's a that's a paid for app. I don't want that. Um, maybe this one. I mean, it can't hurt to try it. Just try a couple different ones and see if you can get it to launch. Mm, yes. Boom. Okay, so it doesn't come with an, a camera, but it does. Let's see if it takes some pictures. Okay, so just turn it. Put it back. Look in our gallery. It's interesting. Let's go back. Do we even have a gallery, speaking of which? Camera. Yeah, look at that. So <laughs> you're probably going to want to install um, Google Photos and use that as your gallery. Uh, so there's going to be some things you're going to tweak to get it, but that's kind of the thing, like I said, with the system uh, image being so small. Uh, it's just what it is. So you do have your recent applications. Um, Google functionality so yeah I mean so far it looks pretty good and once you install some of the apps to kind of fill in your app drawer here some of the Google services that should function on here fine this thing will be rock solid um, yeah and that is very snappy too wow that's nice so there you go guys this is AOSP realm like I said you may find bugs in it I don't see any listed definitely check the post on XDA which is again where you get the file the ROM to install this and I'm really loving this and that's how you do it here with Flash Fire on the Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7-inch Nexus ROM. Gotta love it. Big props to the uh, developer, GGOW, however you say that. And uh, appreciate it. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, as development happens. And we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out.